Apple unveiled a costly augmented reality headset called the Vision Pro at its annual developer conference yesterday in its riskiest bet since the introduction of the iPhone more than a decade ago, barging into a market dominated by Meta. The Vision Pro will start at $3,499, more than three times the cost of the priciest headset in Meta's line of mixed and virtual reality devices. The announcement failed to excite Wall Street, however, which had bid up Apple shares to a record high ahead of the launch. Intel is offering 35 million shares of Class A common stock worth about $1.5 billion in Mobile Eye Global. After the offering, Intel's voting share in the self-driving technology company will come down to about 98.7% from the 99.3% it currently holds. The share sale comes at a time when the company is facing intense competition in the assisted driving market from chipmakers NVIDIA and Qualcomm. Panasonic plans to expand production of electric vehicle batteries at a factory in Nevada, jointly operated with Tesla by 10% within three years. The news follows yesterday's report that the unit Panasonic Energy would install a 15th pro production line at Gigafactory in Nevada. According to a Panasonic executive, Tesla recently said that it would buy as much as Panasonic can make. JetLab shares surged more than 20% after hours following this company's reported first quarter earnings with EPS of negative $0.06 coming in better than the consensus estimate of negative $0.14. Revenue grew 45% year-over-year to $126.9 million, also beating the consensus estimate of $117.84 million. JitLab is an open-source code repository and collaboratory software development platform that is benefiting largely by the AI revolution. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you happy and healthy days.